Hello everyone, welcome to Diecast Alfie. Uh, today, following up from the last episode of um, Porsche, uh, we're doing some more Porsche. And uh, we're doing these three beauties. And I have opened them off screen again. They're all brand new in the wrapper. Uh, these are still all in the wrappers. Um, but pff, don't see the point. As like I've had the discussion with my American friend, forget his name. We we don't get chases in the stock versions in Europe. It's just a Kaido house. Now, I already knew that, but he did tell me. But uh, I'll listen to anybody. Um, I'm not sure if, he, if, if he'd watched me other episodes where I realised that quite a while ago, that um, we don't get them over here. Uh, the, the Americans, Miho, in the blister packs, they get the chases, which is why if we wish to have any of the the normal chases we have to import them from the states united states okay uh kind of house we can get them uh by chance in your carton if you buy a carton if you're not lucky enough to buy a carton which i'm not <laughs> you have to take your chances but the more you buy the more you you you, you have a chance of getting one they have one per carton i believe there's 24 in a carton and you get one in the carton but today we've got three different Porsches for you and I've opened them off camera as I say the plastic and this time because anyone who watched the last episode uh, this time I've taken more care because I took a chunk of the cardboard out of one of the boxes with my craft knife and to a collector like myself um, I've had a sleepless night over it. <laughs> um, I'm trying desperately to find a spare, which I will have somewhere, I'm sure to do, because I normally try, if, I, if I've got enough money, I try and buy a couple of them so that I have one spare. Really, one for me, for my collection, and one to save so that I can maybe make a couple of pounds and uh, make a little bit of profit so I can sell at a later date to uh, fund my collection even more um, it all helps now some of the stuff I've got so I have got quite a bit of a stock <coughs> about a thousand <coughs> um, from the last two years maybe um, where most of them are all sealed now don't get me wrong there are the odd ones that I, I, I do open because I've been you know looking for a chase before I realised that there isn't any chases in these boxes, it's only the me holes. Okay, so without further ado, we're uh, we're still running with this for the foreground because I like it. I know it's been on quite a few of the last uh, episodes, but it's good. I might I might change the page actually one day. Just in the, in fact, I will do the next episode. I'll see what's on the inside of it. I, I have looked, but I forget. 56, you know. So, <laughs> uh, and anyone watching since the last? I thought it was 57, but I've backtracked now. I'm 56, so I, I, I've gained a year, so that's good. <laughs> Even though I feel a year older. Right, number 390, 390, is the Porsche 911 GT3. GT silver metallic colour. Okay, we'll put that to one side for now. That's there. And we've got the 371 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S in lava orange. Authenticity licensed product stickers on the back. Left hand side where the barcode is is the details. I hope it's coming through because as I say I'm having some issues with this camera and it's an expensive Canon so it should be pretty sharp and I say I've got a decent lens on it so I don't know what's happening with that but anyway that's what that one now I just forgot while I was there I forgot to show you the back if you want to take the details of this one that was the 390 that's that and last but not least, we've got the 419, 419 Rough 
CTR 1987 in Blossom Yellow. Okay. Authenticity sticker there. The rough, but it is a design of the enclosed product subject. Um, don't know if it is a licensed product. Must be. But I presume so, but it's just the TSM model there. Okay, details in the left hand side. Okay, in fact, we'll start with this one. So let's start there. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Dear me. Right, lovely, lovely, beautiful um, 1980s icon. Ick, iconic design. Now, the wing mirrors are actually part of the vehicle, the casting, I think. Yeah, they're not stuck out. They're very, very small. We'll see later on the, the close ups. Nice wheels. Um, we'll have a look at them again in a minute. It's like a nice little small car that. It's, yeah, it feels quite small. Lovely, lovely casting. Beautiful. Look at that tail fin. <laughs> we call them tail fins. Incorporated with the air cooler, um, louvered air cooler um, engine bay. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Little bit of uh, detail on the on the bottom. Okay. So let's kick it off there. Righty. Oh. There we go. So we've got nice inserted headlamps, um, tampo left and right indicators, and like a tampered fog light. What are the tampos? It's like a painted headlamp and a grill. I think that yeah, they are tampos. Them I think the left and right indicators. Focus, baby. Come on. Oh, I hate this. Look, you got to do that to do that. How stupid is that? Ridiculous. Anyway, left-hand drive. Five-spoke alloy wheel. Oh, look at that design on that. Oh, my God, that's stunning. Oh, I always wanted one of these. In the 80s, I was here. Uh, um, in my 20s and uh, absolutely loved it, loved it, dreamed of this machine, gorgeous, that tail fin, well it's not a tail fin as such, it's an unusual one, it wasn't like the usual weight, what we call the tail whale or whale tail, ah <laughs> tail whale man about, whale tail. 56 what do you expect lovely black striping coat coat stripe whatever you call it down down the side pin striping coat striping rough on the uh, what would be the number plate as such gtr does it say gtr yeah a ctr charlie tango romeo on the engine bay boot there's a bit of a roll cage in there I don't know if you oh yeah you can pick it up on that yeah a little bit of a roll cage I'm gonna go that way now because I'm I'm like that you know Ooh, lovely very very nice very nice Again, as I say, I will show you the difference in the size, the the width later, you know, compared with the the 911 GT3. I know that has the body kit on, I understand that, but um, still, for the sake of the models, we shall have a look. 
very very nice lovely lovely machine lovely little model that beautiful you know if you've got like an open well not an open they say one of the, the you know a display cabinet what a what a lovely little car to go in the little slot beautiful okay, okay. so we'll get rid of that with that oh and we shall now produce this one which is the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S in a lava orange orange not my cup of tea the colour but still very nice rubber right hand drive rubber wing mirrors um, in nice inserted headlamps lovely profile now you see how the the exhaust a tip silver tips on that so they're quite easy to distinguish from the black bumper and they've got a lovely set of wheels on them uh c69 so like nine spoked wheels very very nice in the middle yeah lovely profile it is a lovely color don't get me wrong um as i always say not for the english climate very nice in los angeles or up on the the west coast somewhere or spain but we don't get that much sunshine here so uh it's not really the color but lovely black alloys I like them I like I do like them don't want to say right hand drive yeah nice Porsche logo on the front at the front of the bonnet which on the Porsches is the boot where they store the luggage nice nice inserted grill very plain model nice nice casting very plain but very nice very nice you know at the end of the day a casting is only as good as the you know the the design of the model itself anyway so there we go not quite sure what i just said but i think it sounded all right <laughs> i'll tell you when i watched it back i just waffled on a bit then but there you go career to four s on the boot i think can't see it but oh stop it there we go yeah very nice nothing more to say about that and now we're going to come to something that is absolutely beautiful in my book which is the 390 Porsche 911 GT3 that is absolutely beautiful beautiful lovely lovely rear spoiler high level got to be careful I don't drop it with my butter fingers nice bit of detail on the front bonnet here I'll show you closer up later nice inserted headlights rubber wing mirrors beautiful alloys with a Porsche logo in the middle I think won't be able to see that till I get it on a bigger screen I'm looking at I think I'm looking at a twin exhaust in the middle I can't see my eyes is shocking you'll be able to see it clear as day on the on the big screen but not a lot of detail on the bottom oh I don't like them skinny wheels <laughs> look at the fat wheels on the back skinny wheels on the front but Mm, yeah okay let's 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 get her there oh, 
lovely front lovely front just before I forget I'll just show you the the difference in width in size see how it's, a, it's like a little baby <laughs> okay I just wanted to show you because I said it would yeah lovely look at that what a beautiful profile <gasps> my god gorgeous gorgeous alloys I just love the love that profile nice uh, I think I'm not sure what little indicators or reflectors they are they want not indicators well they're probably both say that little bit on the front bonnet like is it carbon is it and with it next to the logo either side of it i think they're like air, air ducts carbon air ducts probably whoa get in the middle okay noticed of course there's a, a flap there that must be the petal flap with it being i don't know with it being what i was going to say the engine's at the back in it yeah well, i doubt i haven't got a bloody clue look at that i'll have to look that one up yeah it's a twin exhaust in the middle isn't it Porsche across the high level brake lights. Lovely. Say, nice, nice. Get in the middle. Lovely. Yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, lovely jubbly. Well, I'm going to say hello to my friends at the model store.co.uk. Dan, Jenny, Big Ron. Um, hope you're all well. And uh, looking after my new models that are due. Hope your families are well. I hope the baby's not keeping you awake too much, Dan. <laughs> I feel for you. <laughs> uh, uh, got a bundle of joy until they start squarking at three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> there we go. Very, very nice. Nice set of three. Not happy that that's not in the middle, but that's me. Very, very nice. If anybody wants to send me any requests for, say, models that have gone by that I may have, I haven't got them all. I've got, I think I've got about 40 that are missing. Uh, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, I don't know. Um, I'm not into buying all this. The, uh, is it black editions and the thingy salon editions two reasons one you can't get hold of the things and two they are far far too overpriced and uh, it's not for me at the end of the day I decided to, that I was going to follow Mini GT and I buy every, well I order and buy everything that comes out in England in terms I'm very very lucky I buy every stock model that comes out and then maybe a little bit more if I can. Um, but certainly I don't pay the massive inflated prices of these hundreds of pounds for the black editions and of the Kaido house, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think there was one recently in, um, oh God, where, where the, the Queen Mary liner is stored in uh, California. I forget the name of it now. There was a, auto salon there um 
where where the oh the Acura wasn't it? It was the 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 Honda Acura. Yeah, yeah. Not paying silly money for that. Uh, I, I think yeah, the beautiful model, but I'm not paying extortionate hundreds of pounds for for anything like that. So if any, as I say I do I do carry quite a few spares. If anybody wants to either just to review them or even just to discuss if they want to buy them, if if they're finding it hard to 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 get. But like I said, and I have said it, and I'm going to say it again, I don't, I, I couldn't sell you anything for the same price that I've paid because otherwise it'd make it. I've laid the money out maybe one, two years ago. I'm not after making much money at all, just a few pounds, just to to help rebuild, not rebuild it, but to to fund my collection. And obviously, if I can help you in the in in that quest for something that you're looking for. But uh, I will do. But even if I haven't got, I may be able to point you in the right direction. Because I've, I'm coming across quite a few different contacts. Uh, again, none of them are in it, you know, um, to give things away. Because everybody, everybody wants to make a few shilling nowadays. Shilling was the old money for my American friends. Shilling in, in English. And um, as I say, for all the, the latest stock of uh, Mini GT and many many more uh, model um, brands uh, the TSMs for for instance uh, many many brands um, in the world go to the wholesalers um, themodelstore.co.uk where you can deal as I say with Dan, Jenny and Big Ron Big Ron the big boss man and uh, very very nice people uh, customer service second to none and um, they they hold a massive massive stock of of pretty much everything really that comes into the UK okay so thanks for watching again I'm going to give you a, a rest from the, the the Porsches in the next episode not quite sure yet but I've got I've got some knocking about here uh, a couple of um, mismatches that I might I might do for you. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, sorry to have waffled on a little bit, but uh, I'm just you know I'm, I, I'm here for any questions, any requests, and um, general chit chat if you want to chat. But I'm a pretty boring bugger. Um, but you never know. We're 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 all in the same hobby. And we all have the same interests, so you never know. We, we might just get along. Okay, lads. Lads. Lads, ladies, gentlemen, and other he, who, him. <laughs> uh, sounds like a Chinese, doesn't it? Uh, he, who, him. Um, but anyway, take care. Enjoy your hobby. And uh, enjoy. Bye for now. Stay safe. Anything else? Any old cliches? <laughs> Bye.